Okay, so we're going to look at demographic dividend. Right, so demographic, remember, means population or people, and dividend essentially is a payout. So when we talk about this, we're trying to achieve this for a particular country in a certain stage, ideally, of the demographic transition model. Right, so we're talking about the benefit. There is a challenge for many countries to achieve this. So we'll also discuss the challenges. Right, so ultimately, we're really talking about how we can move our population structure from one that has a lot of youthful dependence into one where we have a high proportion or a high percentage of people in the economically active age group. So ultimately what I wanna do, and you can see here on this demographic transition model in stage three, what I wanna do is start lowering that birth rate. Right, I wanna lower the birth rate and I wanna lower the death rate. If I lower the death rate, then what's gonna happen is infant mortality will go down. But if you see here in this population structure of India in 2017, I have as a proportional percentage very few elderly dependents and very few youthful dependents as a proportion of the population. So the idea is to shrink this here further, all right? So lower the birth rates, lower that base, and get those people living longer and moving up into the economically active. So there's challenges for some countries when they try to do this, right? So what I want to do, if I'm talking about it, what I want to do is see a country move, right, a larger percentage or proportion of its population into the economically active. So really I'm talking about countries in stage three, late stage three of the demographic transition model, okay? So there are challenges in doing this. So ideally we really need to start, again, if a country remembers in stage two, we have high birth rates. Death rates have already begun to fall, but we have high birth rates. So we need to get that birth rate and those fertility rates lower and the death rate down as well. So these people live a little bit longer. Also, so I don't need to, if I have high infant or child mortality rate, I don't need to replace these children, all right? So hopefully these people move up and we'll have a large proportion of percentage here. If there are jobs provided, right? Now, this is a big if, because if there's not, then I have a whole lot of people unemployed. A large proportion of my population would be unemployed, all right? So what I need to do is ensure that not only do I do this, but I get some foreign investment, I invest in infrastructure that we have some jobs as well, all right? Okay, so as I said previously, reducing the death rate, this means that infant and child mortality rate would be much lower, right, and I don't need to replace those children. Okay, so do note that this country here has very few elderly dependents as a proportion, right? So again, I want to lower the youthful dependence and I want to get this large group of economically active here. So how do I achieve it? There are a number of things that I need to invest in here. I need to invest in education, family planning, I need economic reforms, that means change, I need to invest in health, I've got empowerment there, so gender equality as well. So all of these are part of the challenge in achieving this here. All right, so if I do experience it, because I change the demographic structure of my population, the structure has changed to a large percentage. Now, if I do see this bulge in that economically active group and I do have jobs created, then I can have accelerated economic growth. And ultimately, that's what we're talking about, accelerated economic growth here, all right? But if I don't have those jobs, then this is a problem. Okay, so one country that has gone through and experienced successfully a demographic dividend, and you may have done this as a case study, is South Korea, all right? Now, they invested heavily into uh, infrastructure, family planning. It doesn't just happen. All right, the government has to be on board and invest in this. There's a number of benefits. So you have increased labor supply. Now, if there are jobs, increased savings, all right, now you can put more investment into that one or two children that you do have, so more resources, so they might have better educational um, outcomes, and hopefully the GDP of a country will also increase. All right, so there's a number of benefits here. That could also be an examination question for you. Okay, but there are challenges, all right? Some countries like the Gambia, are going through this challenge, so our low-income countries are looking at this, all right? So things that I need to do, invest in health, education, family planning, gender equality. So case study, very quickly, South Korea's gone through this, all right? So you might wanna go through this very, very quickly. You can see fertility rates have fallen, all right? And here's an examination question for you, 